Wow, back at the office. Something big's gotta happen for us to get back in on this. It's not like the case can just end with us not being on it anymore. Mr. Edgeworth! Just what happened yesterday? Holy crap, a whole day passed in one of these cases? That's never happened before. Those two people, their attitude was just unforgivable. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm here to clean up the mess you made. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee has decreed that you will be taken off this case. And Sebastian has been appointed to take over the case. That is all. What a name, Sebastian. Judge Courtney and Mr. DeBesti. Oh, just got it. He's the best. <laughs> they were certainly ruthless. But what I'm more concerned about is... Just what is the PIC thinking? I'm worried about what they will do from here on in. I have a bad feeling about this. And uh, what's going to happen with the rest of this case? I've got to be put back on it somehow, right? <laughs> We're not just going to move on to another crime in this case, are we? Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening. You're not going to give up on this case, are you? No, I don't plan on backing down. Not with the current situation as it is. If I were to silently stand by, that would only validate their claims. But I do no longer have investigative rights. Don't you always? What should I do now? Who is it? Oh, Gumshoe. How do you know that already? Did you just recognize the ringtone? Did you set a special ringtone? Or maybe you just saw the ID that fast? I don't know. It looked like he instantly picked it up and put it to his ear. Meh. Bad news, sir! Someone else is dead. Jailbird's dead. Heard something down at the precinct. That sounds like they've already arrested a suspect in yesterday's case. It's Jailbird. And we're gonna have to defend him as a defense attorney! I don't know. What? Who is it? I don't know yet, sir. But if we go to the detention center, we can ask. Let's get going. Mr. Edgeworth. Even if I can't investigate, meeting with the suspect should not be an issue. Alright, we're heading over to the detention center, right now. I'll also head over as the- on the double, sir! Detective, won't that interfere with your job? I gotta investigate the scene of the crime anyway, so it should be okay, sir. Alright, we'll meet up with you there. Roger, sir! Let's go, Kay. Okay. Okay, okay. Seriously though, I want to use Little Thief soon. It's like the coolest thing. You use it like three times in the first game. I hope to use it at least four in this game. No one's here. He's not coming, is he? He's not. It's happening all over again! We've got another victim on our hands! Don't joke about that. It might actually happen. No way! I mean, it's not happening! Wait, what? Who's this? Yes, it's happening, alright. There's just someone here to talk to you. What's going on? Hmm? That sounds like a pretty screechy voice, huh? I'm very confused about what is going on right now. Did it happen again, or what? What the? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! Who is this? Don't be so stubborn. But aren't prosecutors like crazy scary or something? Uh, so is this a guy or a girl? Seriously, let me know before I continue voicing. Always giving you a death glare! Let me see your face completely so I can decide whether you are a he or a she. Uh, pardon me, but would you happen to be the suspect? So it's not Jailbird. Ah! I knew it! Seriously, dude. Are you a dude? Or are you a chick? Or are you both, somehow? Transgender? I... I don't know. I'm thinking girl? But, but I can't be sure. What is this? Man! It's a man! It's a man! We have confirmation. Edgeworth somehow knows for sure. 
I don't believe you, Edgeworth, but I'll go along for now. Why does this man seem so distraught? Well, because you're, uh, you. <laughs> it doesn't help me at all. It's true, though. Hmm? Would you mind talking to us for a little bit? Who are you? I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. Well, it's just a part-time job. I'm just taking a vacation from my real job. Although, I'm pretty sure this part-time job doesn't actually pay. Unless Edgeworth does pay you. He kinda should. He has money to burn. I don't remember hiring you. You should. This is Mr. Edgeworth. He's a prosecutor. Well, he's not as scary as he looks, so it's okay. Hm, how rude. Really? Okay, now I see the manly traits. At least a couple of them. What's with that mask on your shirt? Are you like a wrestler or something? I, I don't know, that's my guess. You're like a, in the prison, you, you wrestle. The other guy boxes, you wrestle. Really, really? Please don't be one of those people who never opens their eyes. Please open your eyes. Really? Oh, God! What's the point of covering your eyes if you don't open them? Ah! Anyway, c can you tell us your name, Mr. Suspect? Yeah, uh... I'm Simon Keys. Simon Keys. What's the pun there? Uh, maybe he lost his keys? Uh... I, I don't see anything else. There's probably something in there, though. Nice to meet you, Simon. You can just call me K, K? <laughs> I am Miles Edgeworth, the prosecutor. I would appreciate a word with you. Please! It's for your own good, Simon. Really? Finally, it looks like we'll be able to get something out of this guy, thanks to K. It's good to have a female assistant. Simon Keys! First, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about yourself. No way! Not that! I couldn't do that! Impossible! I'm not worthy! There's nothing interesting about me! Your occupation? No way! Not that! It's no big deal, honestly! If it's not a big deal, you can tell me. Yeah, I'm just a regular employee of what? You're probably a wrestler. Good grief. What do you know about Horace Knightley, who you apparently killed? About the victim, Knightley. Ooh. Do you know him? I don't think he's going to talk to me about this. Kay, talk to the man. Simon, do you know Mr. Knightley from somewhere? Knightley? Yeah, I did. He was, uh, a friend. A friend? So did he know that Knightley was arrested? And then killed? Did you know that Mr. Knightley was arrested? Yeah, I came here to meet him. So he visited the detention center too. When was that? When did you visit him here? It was two days ago, in the afternoon. I received a call from the police, so I came over right away. From the police? Why'd you get a call from the police? It was a request from Knightley. He had a message for me? <laughs> was that his one phone call? A message? Are you guys in on, like, some secret smuggling ring? I guess even though it seemed like he wasn't part of it and the killer was? Maybe there's another one? Yeah, he wanted me to bring him his pocket-sized chessboard. Ooh, we have that. So I retrieved it from his house and came here to give it to him. Did he say chessboard? Did you say chessboard? Uh, <laughs> stealing my lines. Is Kay stealing my thoughts? <laughs> Even better. No, Mr. Edgeworth. It's just written on your face. <laughs> I was just guessing from your facial expressions. But it'd be cool if you were stealing my thoughts. See? I can be a useful assistant, right? 
Hmm. So, do you know what we need to do next? You bet. We gotta show that to Simon, right? Correct. Let's present it and see how he reacts. We gotta present... Good old chessboard. But first, I'm a lawyer. He's my badge. No way! It's really impossible! There's no way I could be a prosecutor! Wait, what? Even if you give that to me! I'm not giving it to you! So, are you gonna arrest me? Am I going to trial? You were already arrested and you are going to trial, but I'm not the prosecutor. Not yet, anyway. No objections, Your Honor? There is an objection. Please calm down. Ah, uh, here's the body. Mr. Keys, I would like you to take a look at this. Ah! Oh, I see nothing. I hear nothing. I am nothing. Once he calms down, I'll try showing it to him again. Let's see, what else we got? Um... What else do we care about? I don't know. Let's just show him the chessboard. You recognize this chessboard? Let's check our uh, profiles real quick. What else do we got in here? We got Knightley in here now. Age 24. The victim in this case was in the detention center. Why do you in the prison? Raymond Shields. 36. Defense attorney and old acquaintance I have not seen for years. Went abroad. Don't they always? Jailbird, uh, age 31, male, former boxer, now prisoner, obsessed with training, has pet polar bear named Rocky. Justine Courtney, a judge, also a member of the Prosecutorial Investigation Committee, female, age 26. Sebastian DeBesti, age 17, gender male, rookie prosecutor nominated by the PIC to take over the case. 17? Holy crap! That's young. Although, I don't think it's as young as uh, Von Karma when she started. Meh. Simon Keys, age 27, gender male. Suspect, a timid young man. Doesn't seem like the type to kill someone. Then again, those are typically the most likely to kill someone. Let's be honest, in these games... Ah, the, that's Knightley's. Just as I thought. Just for data updated in my organization. -er. It's just down near Mr. Knightley's corpse. Let's check that real quick. Portable folding chessboard belongs to Knightley. Someone brought to him at his request. Okay. He always carried a chessboard with him. It's just like him to have one until his last breath. It sounds like you two were really close, Simon. I might be a little sad if it weren't for the fact that he was a ruthless killer and kind of a dick in general. But go on, tell me your sad tale. Yeah, we were best friends, at least I thought we were. But, maybe I was wrong. Huh? Because I never imagined he would murder someone. Having someone close to you turn out to be a murderer. Reality can be so cruel. It's not something most people can easily accept. And I never imagined we would part ways like this. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, something's definitely strange here. For a dick like that, you'd think just about anyone would be willing to kill him, but this guy definitely does not would want to kill him. I do grammar good. There's no way Simon could have killed Mr. Knightley. Indeed, I certainly can't see a motive at all. However, the fact remains that he was the one who was arrested on the charge. Just what was the justification for doing so? Reasons for arrest! So, why were you arrested? Wow, you just... Talk about uncooperative uh, defendants. I mean, I know you're technically not my defendant, but... Man, like, especially in recent games, especially in Apollo Justice, every defendant didn't like you, honestly. I guess he still won't respond to me. Well, I don't know. Looks like he's finally warming up to you. <laughs> That's a great help. This morning, a police officer barged into my house. And before I knew it, he brought me here, dude! Was there a prosecutor accompanying him at the time? Uh, I remember a prosecutor called, uh, um... Uh, he was definitely dumb. Best or something was there, too. 
dumb best. Yes. It was actually dumb best, but the bestie to be certain. So it was that rookie prosecutor. Then I guess the police haven't dragged you into questioning yet. Uh, are the police gonna interrogate me? They usually do. Yup, that's right. Because you're the suspect. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Aren't detectives like crazy abusive or something? Sometimes. Not all of them. Always busting you around with their big bodies. Not all of them have big bodies, but okay. Detective Gumshoe's on the scene. Oh god, bad timing, dude. Ah! I knew it! Give me the death sentence! Right here, right now! I ain't afraid to go! Just no interrogation, buddy! Please don't beat me with your thick arms! 